school uh, a very hearty good morning to one and all friends at the outset i welcome all our online uh, viewers and participants on behalf of dhenkanal science center a unit of national council of science museums ministry of culture government of india once again i welcome you all at the outset i welcome uh, dr ashok kumar badmali sir uh, he is quite famous in uh, bhubneswar he is uh, md fi cmo and uh, senior consultant uh, cardiac anesthesia kims bhubneswar kims itself is uh, quite popular everywhere Uh, being senior consultant today you all can see badmali sir is uh, was in ot and uh, he has spared some valuable time we are celebrating observing swachhata pakwada since uh, 16th september and it will continue till uh, 30th september so as a part of this uh, observance of swachhata pakwada today uh, we have uh, fixed a lecture on theme hygen and uh, lifestyle impact on body immunity so for that we have with us uh, professor padmali and uh, he is uh, leading the team ecmo program teams project uh, kabil uh, kit university and uh, he has several publications i am not going to name all of them uh, because we have time constraint and uh, instead of listening those things it will be better uh, if we listen uh, to professor badmali and um, badmali sir has uh, uh, he is the instructor in advanced cardiac life support aj and he is also three time awardee of um, ए सतपथी अवार्ड एंड निधि प्रयास अवार्ड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी स्टार्टअप ओडिशा ग्रांड बिग ट्वेंटी बीआईआरएसी फेलो द इंडियन सिमुलेशन सोसाइटी इंडिया इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट्स एंड इनोवेशन इन संजीवनी कृषि पी आर इकोसिस्टम कलम स्को एंड टारगेट ए जी पी प्लस ईयू योगानिद्रा एंड मेडिटन एंड जस्ट बिफोर दिस सेशन आई हैड डिस्कशन विथ बडमाली सर एंड द बेस्ट सोशल इनोवेशन अवार्ड ही हेज बीन नॉमिनेटेड फॉर द मीन्स इन द फाइनलिस्ट लिस्ट इन टाटा आई आई एम कोलकाता द बेस्ट सोशल uh innovation award so we have with us uh, uh, professor badmali so uh, let us uh, listen from badmali sir on theme of hygiene and lifestyle how it impacts the body immunity system so instead of wasting time now may i request uh, badmali sir uh, please enlighten all of us and uh, before uh, badmali sir starts may i request all our online uh, participants please mute your uh, audio and video as well and uh, if you have any query we can uh, spare some time at the end uh, badmali sir may i request you uh, now the platform is yours please uh, enlighten all of us thank, thank you, you sir, sir. Uh, good morning to all Uh, thanks, thanks sir, sir for the, the nice introduction it may screen in sir yeah 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 okay, okay. so today we will discuss a few things and take home messages on how the hygiene and lifestyle impacts our body immunity earlier we were ignoring that but after the covid everybody talks about immunity how to maintain lifestyle how to maintain hygiene so if we see the positive effect of covid that it has sensitizes us and our mind in the practice 
how to maintain our immunity through better hygiene and a better lifestyle. What do we mean by this term hygiene? If we think uh, literally or scientifically, it means keeping yourself and things around you clean in order to prevent disease. So the hygiene activity can be grouped into uh, several categories like uh, home and everyday hygiene, food hygiene, personal hygiene, medical hygiene, sleep hygiene and uh, in the category of uh, home and everyday hygiene, what we have to observe? It's the first is hand washing. Covid has taught us and we have seen the effect. How hand washing can prevent not only this uh, viral, every day it's uh, our routine practice in our being the anesthetist while going for any intervention during our medical career, we used to do proper hand washing and there is a proper hand washing technique. I will show the picture also, how this hand washing helps everybody. One can remember, it's in our culture also, when any of our guests comes to our house, we give them a source of water, a, uh, one pot or one mug or one some uh, water source to wash the hand and wash the legs and wash the face. What was the culture? It was indirectly imbibing hand washing and hygiene because you have come through a various area that some infection might come to my home through you. Let's celebrate our relationship our um, friendship, but keep the pathogens or the source of income, a source of uh, infection out. That was the culture which we have, for, we have forgotten, but now it's imbibed again through COVID. Then the dental hygiene. Every day after washing from, uh, wake up from the bed, what will we do? Wash our face, brush our teeth, but there is a proper technique of washing the uh, face, face, proper technique of brushing the teeth. How to maintain proper dental hygiene? Or else there will be cavity, there will be foul smell, there will be uh, infection of the gum or gingivitis. So dental hygiene also is fine. Then comes the respiratory hygiene. The mask, how to cough, etiquette in case of sneezing. Those follows the respiratory hygiene. Not only that, doing the air pollution throwing garbages or dumping garbages in public area, we are also affecting others' respiratory hygiene. So we have to keep those things also in our mind. Then food hygiene at home. Before taking the food, if it is a raw one, wash that. Because nowadays everybody is conscious about salad, about raw and about semi-cooked food. So those in those things, proper washing is there. And another thing, while storing, and uh, transporting or to increase the shelf life, various preservative or color or uh, any protection layer is also there in over the vegetables or fruits over the packed food. So by doing this uh, proper washing technique or few of this uh, ozone machines is also in some uh, affluent families, those help in maintaining the food hygiene. Then, uh, sir, please, uh, uh, sir uh, sorry to uh, interrupt you. Uh, slides are not moving, please. Uh, it's fixed, it's fixed, I am, yeah. I am not moving. Yeah. Now, are you able to see that home and everyday hygiene? Uh, no, no. Uh, hygiene and lifestyle impact. The first slide is visible only. Okay. Uh. Now, has it moved? No, no, not yet, sir. Then let me stop and uh, yes. say it again. Let me share the screen once Watch again. Yeah. Your entire screen. Now is it visible? No, not yet. Uh, so what, what is, is there? Uh, now, this sir, nothing. Nothing is there. Nothing. Okay. Uh, I have already pinned you. So, yes. Now, please, sir.
adequate sleep or a deeper sleep at appropriate time uh, which we can um, think for better sleep hygiene can prevent this insomnia but after 2024 healthcare assess the sleep hygiene of people not only this uh, sleep defect is presented as inability to appropriate sleep later on it leads to depression raised blood pressure even on controlled diabetes also so various sleep lab sleep test then the uh, sleep apnea test use of bike of those things come because proper sleep was adequate before electricity think about a uh, ancient culture in many of my lectures you will find that i am relating it to the sanatan culture or what was earlier practice in india because there was no electricity everybody goes like that uh, animals and part 7 pm means deeper sleep However, by four, early to bed, early to rise was the practice. After this, mobile, Netflix, uh, electricity, our sleep got affected due to technology. So we have to learn the benefit of those things and maintain our sleep hygiene. So what is recommended for a better sleep hygiene? Establish a regular sleep schedule. I am going to bed by 10 p.m. means I will go almost in and around that time every day. There should not be extreme deviation that I may sleep at 9 p.m. I may. Uh, watching the mobile up to 1 a.m. also. Don't do that. Establish a regular sleep schedule. Using nap with care. Then comes not exercising physically or mentally too close to the bedtime. Now it's my bedtime, so I should be over excited or over excited. Then limit your worries or stress or tension. Then limiting the exposure to light in the hours before sleep. Even mobile light, laptop light. Or the ambient light that affects the sleep pattern. There is one chemical. I am going little bit into deeper science called melatonin. It is secreted by our pituitary gland that maintains the cycle. If someone gets up from bed at 6 a.m. every day, so after a few days he or she would not require any alarm. That melatonin cycle, that sleep cycle, that steroid cycle maintains the cyclical rhythm of the biological clock. We have to be in sync with that. Getting out of bed if sleep doesn't come, so and not using the bed for anything but sleep only. This should be the practice. And what most important is that avoiding any stimuli like alcohol, nicotine, or caffeine. That means smoking, coffee, or drinking. These things should be avoided hours before bedtime to have a peaceful, comfortable, and dark sleep environment. So now we will discuss something on lifestyle. What does it mean? It's the interest, opinion, behavior, or behavioral orientation of some individual or a group or a culture. It is broadly known as lifestyle. Then, what is the healthy and non-healthy lifestyle? Mostly, it transmitted across generation. Now, so we may tell someone it's in your culture. Why? Because. It's affected through generation. There was a study done by K. S. Atal in 2002. And what does that study depicts? When a zero to three year old child has a mother who practices a healthy lifestyle, then there is 27 percent more likely probability that the child will become healthy and adopt the same lifestyle. If we see high income parents, they are more likely to eat more fruits, vegetables, and have time to exercise and provide the best living condition to their children. On the other hand, if the parents are of low income, they are more likely to participate in non-healthy activity such as smoking, help them to relieve poverty-related stress and depression. The child imbibes that culture. In many of my discussion, I told these things. Parents are the first teacher for every child, so everything the parent So do will be likely to be transferred to their children through their learning practice. One thing, please remember: your child don't listen to you; they just follow you; they just observe. So teach them the proper hand hygiene, proper food hygiene, proper healthy food, healthy habit, and mental health. Because being the first part, what is this healthy or balanced life? So always mix up your plate. It should be a mix and match. Then I have not written by mistake. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. 
it's the importance of taking water of sufficiently hydrating the body because dehydration also gives us stress not only mentally to our kidney to our liver because the body has to maintain that ph that osmosis that salt and electrolyte so many times because of the stress we forget and please remember one thing this cold drinks are not for hydration they dehydrate you subsequently it's the plain water or the warm water there is no replacement of a potable or plain water one cold drinks if we are going by this uh, soda cold drinks or any mocktail they are not going to hydrate your body properly it's the water three to four liter water every day for an adult is the recommendation then you don't rely on supplements sold by various media or advertising agency nothing can beat the natural source and what is this keep moving means do exercise here i want to tell one thing while doing exercise our body joints secretes one endorphin that elevates our mood all of us have known one thing opioid that morphine opium jo bolte hain theek hai that is present inside our body by doing the exercise by doing the meditation those chemical secreted internally and elevates our mood just observe my words go for 30 minutes walking or jogging tomorrow and just see the difference how relaxing it is so take the natural source of antioxidant take the natural source of food take the natural source of these stressing words then prioritizing your sleep and minimizing the stress this is the take home message for healthy lifestyle then this picture you might have come across in various places about hand hygiene how to wash your hand first rinse your hand then use soap or liquid soap then first palm to palm then back to hand base of your thumb finger interlace between the finger waves then the wrist and the finger by doing this we are clearing almost more than 99% of the germ or pathogens removed from our hand so neither we are getting affected nor we are transmitting to any of our fellow an addiction versus lifestyle so i have kept this picture in my laptop in many of this talk where i talk about lifestyle i give this picture you can see the first male he is smoking his lungs is affected the second person is taking alcohol you can see the liver is not normal but see the third girl she is taking fruits and natural diet all internal organs are not so addiction leads to cancer blood pressure liver or kidney disease besides that the social and familiar disturbances so it's has a role on your mental hygiene and family and personal hygiene also then next now it's a pandemic has covid is not the pandemic obesity is the pandemic it spreads slowly you can see in the memes that uh, how the letter b and d face each other in the word abdomen you can see a b b o and this is extra fat because of laziness because of excess food because of junk food subsequently that leads to diabetes blood pressure arthritis liver problem or kidney problem so by working and every day maintaining a healthy lifestyle maintaining a healthy food practice proper sleep you can maintain the body mass index and proper metabolism that's the message from this comic like picture in the right side one can see the structure of heart that can be made healthy by the naturally available sources like ginger um, broccoli this uh, cabbage onion and uh, fiber like things that the picture is depicting that your heart can be kept healthy with this food and this food have a positive effect on your cholesterol blood pressure and heart function that's why i have kept this picture deliberately that's how we have neglecting our natural fruits vegetables and the locally available food stuff for mental and sleep hygiene meditation or positive suggestions which reduces the anxiety it sinks all with the nature suppose we have gone to a hill area 
nature is vibrating at its own frequency so after being there for some places why someone feels calm and quiet because my thought process my body frequency matches with that and we have in science we know the resonance effect so if the two frequency matches then it gets amplified so if i am matching my frequency with the nature then then my happiness is increased because of resonance effect if i am thinking my vibes or frequency with a negative emotion so my negative thoughts or stress increases that happens inside the pop inside the violent area or inside the quarry but we can see the positive resonance effect in nature it controls the hormonal effect and the sympathetic drive how this movie creates violence because that affects our I, if i am watching some violent scene so my thought process sinks with that so my thought goes to that level so we have to avoid those things if we think about science and philosophy what is this quantum theory is telling so everything is energy that energy you are getting one may call that as uh, brahman or universal blessing or as a law of attraction you are sinking your vibration with the vibration of the nature it may be your room it may be your workplace it may be the universe even string theory tells that so maintain your energy in that positive vibe so that will affect your immunity your lifestyle if i am happy then i can go to bed with a happy mind i will get deeper sleep my weight will not increase my stress will not increase i will not show that arrogance or that attitude or that uh, irritated mentality to my family or friends this is the total take home message from this then finally immunity there is no particular test which tells us what is my immunity various parameters are level as immunity or you are immune to disease means my body is fit to fight the pathogens so it may be innate immunity means comes naturally when uh, after 6 month within 6 month the baby takes the mother's milk so the immunity comes from mother's milk is the innate immunity what we immunity got from getting infected or by processing the infected material in our own body that is the acquired immunity which is achieved through natural infection or through vaccination uh, then the role of vaccine in getting immunity that's the acquired immunity what is the role of this natural food many of these chemicals uh, um, which we found in the medicine or the uh, supportive supplement their structure that not mimic our body structure but the natural food that mimics our body's various chemical materials that's why the natural food has a positive role if someone is taking cod then that replaces the bacteria present inside the intestine so that prevents further infection if some place is not vacant no one is going to encroach that so then why we are taking antibiotic so though we are taking antibiotic to prevent some infection but that antibiotic is killing the helpful bacteria present inside our body so that's why many times when few of my family or friend they ask us uh i have a cough should i take uh, ajitrin should i take uh, this uh, xyz antibiotic i tell you is there excess fever what is the age if someone is not uh, less than 1 year or more than 60 year no need of antibiotic let your body immune system manage that by doing that our body get acclimatized so don't spoon feed our immunity then the role of stress why stress is affecting stress releases various chemicals that damages the function of our immune system so ultimately our sleep our food our hand hygiene our personal care everything affects our lifestyle our immunity and in total our performance as a human thank you so nice of you it was uh, really excellent sir um, certain so it uh, it's uh, 
excellently badmali sir you had explained uh, since uh, hyson and uh, even lifestyle the impact of course india has a very rich heritage of uh, means, uh, scientific culture since the um, since our ancient times means uh, normally these traditions uh, that instead of shaking hands also or this namaste namaste whenever our guests come we used to offer first water to uh, just wash their hands and uh, it so that uh, hygiene can be maintained but nowadays uh, everywhere it has started Uh, Science has proven that earlier yes, it was yes, in our culture. It was in our culture, but uh, now people come to know. Yeah, this is the origin. This is the significance. And then very rightly said, sir, that uh, early to bed and early to rise. That's the way way to be healthy and wise. And uh, even in our childhood, my childhood, I say uh, till standard six or seven, whenever I was a student in the early nineties. that time even no electricity was in our uh, village so we used to sleep by 8 o'clock morning 4 4:30 we used to get up uh thank you sir uh before that i had request all my online viewers if you have any query uh, you can ask is there anyone who wants to ask some questions to good morning sir बेनिफिटेड now that it has become a trend if somebody starts uh, if cough is there immediately yeah throat infection immediately they take uh, some um, uh, antibiotics or um, even uh, now that even sir for students also it had become a trend to have some supplement medicines and why uh, uh, i'm not against any of the manufacturers or pharmaceuticals supplements they are giving by this vitamin that vitamin this mineral you have but whatever you take it through vegetables and your food it will have much more impact it will be much more beneficial also sure. thank you no, sir no, uh, on behalf of nothing can beat the nature yes, yes. one of my talk i told our heart pumps uh, 72 times per minute yeah each beat it throws 65 ml then sir think in each minute 65 ml into 72 yeah. in one hour into 60 In one day into twenty four, suppose someone uh, lives for seventy years, then into three sixty five into seventy two years. None of this pump company in globally can challenge the growth. Correct, correct. Any pump you purchase, it will go damaged within five to ten years. But never has given us a pump which lasts for seventy years. In an average. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot, Badmali sir. Thanks for sparing your valuable time, and definitely most of our viewers and they will be uh, benefited. Sir is having very hectic schedule from the uniform. You can see I uh, was in OT and uh, spared some time for enlightening all of us. Thanks a lot, sir. Again, we'll uh, meet in uh, future. Uh, before yes, we um, end this session, I thank all our online viewers. uh thank you all we'll mm -hmm. end this session thanks a lot but much thank you thank you